Miss Rubarts, do you think we're set streaming? Are we doing, can you tell on our, on your end if we're okay? Yep, we're live and recording. Okay, I have 601, so Mr. BFO, right. whenever you're ready. All righty, well, good evening, everybody. Uh, we are happy to see you guys. Uh, this is awesome. I, 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 I've missed every one of you. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get this thing kicked off. So good evening. And tonight it is our pleasure to recognize the, the class of 2024 uh, for their accomplishments throughout their career as GCMS middle school students. Um, this has been a very unprecedented time for, for all of us. Uh, the changes that have impacted all of us, uh, and it's, uh, it's impacted all of us in very different ways. I want to give a big shout out to all the students. Um, you guys, a lot of you have really went above and beyond. Um, you guys have really taken this, this remote learning very seriously, and the teachers, the administration, the paraprofessionals, everybody, your parents, we all really appreciate just how much effort you've really put into all this. Um, so we want to give you a big thank you. Uh, I, I wish I could... I wish I could do this in person because uh, I, I would shake every one of your hands and, and, and tell you how much um, your, your efforts meant to, to, to myself as well as your teachers and just how proud we, we really are of you. Um, but this, we, we expect this. Our expectations for all of you is very high and we cannot wait to see what you are going to accomplish uh, in the next four years as you continue your educational journey through, through high school. Um, I really look forward to watching you continue to grow, both as, as individuals um, and as students. A lot of you have so much talent and so much potential. Um, we all can't wait to see all that just, just come exploding out, especially when we can finally get back to school and we can really see uh, what you guys are going to, to, to accomplish when you go through high school. Um, so like I said, I, I'm very proud to be your principal. I'm very proud of the work that you have done. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys are going to accomplish in the next four years. Um, so I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Jamison briefly, and then we will get into the award part of the evening. All right. So you guys can see I've got our bulletin board behind us. Your future is bright. Um, and as I was thinking about just a couple of quick things to say, um, there were a couple of words that came to mind to describe you guys and just really kind of describe what you guys have been through. Um, the first one is grit. Um, and when you look up the definition for grit, there are a few words that stand out. And I think teachers, as I read these words, some things will come to mind about this class. I think that you'll probably agree with uh, grit. You have spunk, toughness, bravery, spirit, nerve, determination. Now, I think I can think of an eighth grade kiddo that could fit in each one of those categories. Some of you fit into one, some of you fit into multiple, um, but that is a word that I think really describes you guys really well. Yes, you are done with eighth grade. Yes, you are done with middle school, but please know that the teachers and the staff here at the middle school, we are not done with you. We will watch you in high school. We will keep track of you. We'll probably know more about you than you will realize. Um, so please know that if you need anything this summer, you need anything moving on while you're in high school, we are here. Just reach out to us. We're happy to help. So I'm going to leave you with this. No, I did not come up with this, um, but this is my advice to you as you move forward. I want all of you to be warriors. So be a warrior, be a warrior, fight for what you believe in and never hold back. Fiercely go towards your dreams with boldness and lust. Hold your ground in the face of conflict. Knock barriers down with courage and grace. Do not give up when you find yourself face to face with an obstacle. Instead, continue forward and abandon. Keep the fire in your heart burning strong and do not ever let your flame fade away. Remind yourself what you are fighting for is worth it. Remember, everything you will overcome, everything that comes your way, it's okay. You will overcome because you are a warrior. A lot of you have invisible backpacks. We've talked about that a lot. Those invisible backpacks aren't going to go away. Just remember that we are all here. Your parents are here. We want the very, very best for you. So reach out if you guys need anything. Um, we are moving ahead to our content area awards, and I'm going to swing it to Mr. Barry. Okay, thank you, Miss Jamison. Uh, good to see everybody here tonight. Um, we decided that this year we were going to have the different subjects um, 
most of the different subjects come up with a, an outstanding student uh, for those subjects so that we're going to get into that part of the uh, awards night right now. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, social studies student of the year. Um, I really thought that uh, a lot of students did a great job in social studies this year. Uh, my award winner did a super job uh, participating in class, uh, very consistent in getting work done on time, uh, excelled on quizzes and tests, and did a real good job on the projects, especially during the remote learning part of, of, of all this this year, which was difficult for everybody. So uh, the Social Studies Student of the Year, uh, congratulations to Sophia Zung. Great job. Uh, we'll have a certificate for you tomorrow. Virtual applause there. Yeah, very good. Um, we'll have a certificate for you tomorrow along with uh, all your materials when you come in and uh, pick those up. Uh, next, we're going to go to Coach Dinkins, and he's going to talk about the math students of the year. All right. Thanks, Coach Barry. Um, for math, uh, we're actually going to have two awards because we have uh, some advanced math and regular math. Mark, you got a little bit of this. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right. So we have uh, two award winners. Uh, we have advanced math student, and we also have the regular math. Uh, we had a lot of students do a great job uh, overall this year in math. Uh, we have, we, um, but these two uh, people here, both these award winners did an amazing job participating in class, getting their work done, uh, excelled on their tests and quizzes. What really set them apart though is uh, how well they carried that over into uh, remote learning. Um, they did a fantastic job. They didn't, you can tell, you couldn't really tell the difference between uh, the remote learning and being in the classroom. So th uh, this is the main reason why these two people are going to be the award winners for math uh, this year. And for advanced math, uh, our award winner for uh, advanced is Bren Bounty. And our uh, award winner for regular math is Kaylin Little. All right, and now with that being applause for them, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to Mrs. Brennan for the Science Student of the Year. Okay, I was having trouble unmuting. Okay. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I got it now though. All right, um, so this was really, really a tough decision for me. I based my decision on basically participation um, and was looking at people who asked questions and answered questions and also um, students who would respond to other students who would um, build on what other students had said to really keep that conversation going. Um, it was an interesting year for all of us with the new curriculum. It was a learning experience for me as well as for you guys. So there was about 10 people that it was a really um, tough decision for me to uh, decide between. Uh, quite a few people really improved with remote learning, and I thought that was amazing. Um, but ultimately, I decided to give the science award to CC Francis. So now I think it's Ms. Rubart's turn. Hi guys. Um, this year, it was also pretty difficult. Everybody improved in their reading and writing. We had a lot of students reading a lot of pages this year. Um, this student improved um, with her participation in class. She grew as a student, um, definitely made huge strides but she read a ton. She was one of our top readers each quarter and the last third and fourth quarter, she read over 20,000 pages just in the third and fourth quarter alone. Um, so the winner of the English Student of the Year is Brooklyn Scribner. And then I'm also going to do PE Students of the Year. So this award has two different students. Um, the PE students selected for this award were chosen based on exhibiting a physically active lifestyle, both during and outside of school. They demonstrated responsible personal and social behavior, including good sportsmanship, character, civility, and citizenship. Both students also demonstrate leadership and are positive role models 
for their peers. These award winners are Aiden Sankin and Lily Lair. I am going to move to Ms. Broadus for Choir Student of the Year and also Band Student of the Year. Hey, everybody. Um, so I have two Choir Students of the Year. Um, the Choir Students of the Year were selected due to their consistent helpfulness and dedication to music both in and out of the classroom. Um, both of these students consistently went above and beyond by paying attention to the little musical details in class, and also they led sectionals frequently. In addition to helping in class, one student um, auditioned for and was selected for ILMEA choir and frequently shared her original music with the school, um, while the other played the piano for warm-ups for us every day at rehearsal, which was awesome. This eighth grade class has so many excellent musicians and musical leaders, so this was a really tough choice. But this year's choir students of the year are Kaylin Little and Getty Greer. So congratulations, you guys. And then I'm also going to um, present the band student of the year. Um, so Ms. Renshin said that this student is a hard worker and a very talented musician. Um, she has worked really hard to master her original instrument and then even stepped up to begin learning a secondary instrument this year, which is amazing, especially in middle school. Um, she is always helpful and never afraid of a challenge. So because of this, she has been awarded the band student of the year. And that student is Kaya Lee. Congratulations, Kaya. And now I'm going to um, Mr. Stone or Ms. Jameson. I'm not sure which one. Yep, I'm going to take so it from here. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to announce the Art Student of the Year. Before I do that, um, I just want to give a quick shout out. Not everyone who is on here is going to be named today, um, but please don't think any less that you were a part of this class. Um, you guys had so many great people. You guys really have grown so much since sixth grade. Um, all of those words I said before really super are meaningful. So even if your name is not announced, please understand that you grew and you changed and we are super proud of you and we're super glad that you joined us today. So continuing. Art Student of the Year, um, and this was chosen by Mr. Stone. Art Student of the Year goes to Chase Pollard. So congratulations, Chase, on that. And uh, I actually am going to nominate, this is an award that will start um, from here on out. This is the first year for this award, um, and it is the Student Helpfulness Award. Um, the Student Helpfulness Award goes to an eighth grader who really um, is willing to help others. Um, so going out of their way to help other people, um, this student always, um, if I went and said, hey, I need this or I need that, or could you help this sixth grader? Or, could you help this seventh grader? Or, oh, I have a new student coming in. Um, this student was always willing to say yes, absolutely, um, and kind of put them before herself. And I really appreciated that. So the Student Helpfulness Award goes to Riley Holtz. And I will continue to chat the names in the uh, recording. So I'll chat them if you can't hear them. And then I'm going to throw it to Ms. Rewarts for Class Spirit. All right. So this year we really worked on getting the students involved um, in spirit. So getting kids to athletic events, making posters around the school to show our school spirit. And we had three winners for this Class Spirit Award. Um, they were involved in Red Crush. They were at a lot of games. They would do dress up days for our student council spirit days. And overall, just very positive leaders amongst their classmates. You could always count on them for a laugh um, throughout the school day. So I have three um, people that will be given class spirit award. The first is Getty Greer. The second is Nick Smith. And the third is Carter Callow. Nice job, guys. Thanks for the laughs. I appreciate it. Okay. Am I on? Okay. So my next one here are the uh, most improved e-learning students. It's kind of a crazy award. This is not something that we would ever have to hope to give out an award for, but under the circumstances this year, um, it's kind of important to do that. We had some kids who really did a nice job with e-learning this year. Overall, the eighth graders, uh, I thought, did a good job with remote learning uh, under the circumstances we were in. 
Uh, making the adjustment to doing everything without having us directly supervising them could not have been easy for the students. It certainly wasn't easy for us. And a lot of the eighth graders stepped up and did as good a job as we could expect uh, under these circumstances. Um, our most improved e-learning students did a great job during remote learning this spring. Uh, they cleared their work consistently. Uh, they were really good about asking questions and staying in touch during these difficult times. And in some cases, uh, really showed a lot of improvement over their performances earlier in the year. So our five uh, most improved e-learning students for this year are Mitchell Quinley, Lacey Walker, Jason Stover, Brianna Niles, and Maya Nugent. Great job by everyone and especially those five. Super job. All right, it's my turn to give out some uh, nominated awards by, by the teachers. So uh, the first one is the American Legion Citizenship Award. Uh, every year, eighth grade teachers nominate students for, for the American Legion Citizenship Award based on their impact not only on their school, but on their community as well. This year, we had a lot of students that were nominated by their teachers. So I'm gonna name off all the students that were nominated. Kate Christensen, Anna Gooden, Riley Holes, Lily Lair, Bryn Bowden, Kaylin Little, Ella Brake, Mitchell Quinley, Getty Greer, Isaiah Johnson, Aiden Sankin, Nick Smith, and Alex Ward. Everybody, each one of you is nominated by one of your teachers. Uh, and, and we do an honorable mention as well as a winner. And this year's honorable mention uh, winners are Kaylin Little and Aiden Sankin. So great job, guys. And this year's winners of the American Legion Citizenship Award are Bryn Bounty and Nicholas Smith. Uh, very proud of you guys. Make sure I'm going in order here. Uh, the next award is the Jeff Hansen School Service Award. Um, since 1997, the Jeff Hansen School Service Award has been given out to an eighth grader that best exemplifies the spirit and example of Jeff Hansen, a GCMS school, middle school eighth grader who tragically passed away in 1986. After his passing, his parents, Don and Janie, instituted this award in honor of Jeff, who throughout his life and particularly in his time at the middle school, demonstrated an attitude of helpfulness, friendliness, and positivity that set him apart from everyone else. Jeff was always willing to be able, was willing and able to help out wherever he could and did so in a way that set an example for his peers. The eighth grade teachers were given this opportunity to nominate someone who they felt stood out in those categories. And this year's nominees were Wesley Milligan, Lacey Walker, and Ella Brake. All three of you are very deserving. And the winner of this year's Jeff Hansen School Service Award, a person who made a, a substantial transformation in middle school and has become someone who has shown all the qualities that Jeff possessed. And this year's winner is Lacey Walker. Great job, Lacey, very proud of you. And the last award that I get to present tonight is the Ray Kroc Youth Achievement Award. The Milan Petro McDonald's organization has established the Ray Kroc Youth Achievement Award, which is a special recognition award for an outstanding middle school student. This award, named after the founder of McDonald's, honors students who have demonstrated the characteristics exemplified by Mr. Kroc, which are persistence, determination, hard work, and overall excellence. And this year's recipient exemplifies all of these characteristics. And the winner of the Ray Kroc Youth Achievement Award this year is Ella Brake. Great job, Ella. And now, Mr. Barry, I'll turn it back over to you for the Jeff Elder Award. Okay, uh, I have I have two more awards, uh, both having to do with athletics. Uh, the first one is the Jeff Elder Athletic Excellence Award. Um, most everybody I'm sure has seen the, the great looking display that we have outside the gym with all of the nominees from uh, the different sports for all the years that we've done this. And of course, in the center is, is each year's winner. Um, and an abbreviated sports season this year, of course, didn't have our spring sports like we hoped we would, but we do have some nominees from the other sports that we had. Uh, this year's nominees for the 
Jeff Elder Award for softball was Bryn Boundy. For baseball was Ty Cribbett. For girls basketball, it was Kate Christensen. For boys basketball, it was Ty Cribbett. For volleyball, it was Bryn Boundy. And for wrestling, it was Carson Maxey. And as always, it's a tough decision. Uh, but the winner of this year's Jeff Elder Athletic Excellence Award is Ty Cribbett. Congratulations to Ty. And finally, I want to make mention of one other uh, honoree that we've had this year. Um, the Illinois Elementary School Association each year sponsors the Scholar Attitude Award. Um, we, we brought the eighth graders in uh, back in February and talked to them about um, applying for this award. Basically, there's a whole uh, application process that's involved with this. A lot of questions to answer and forms to fill out and an essay to write. Uh, a lot of work involved with this. Uh, what happens then, each school picks one winner uh, from amongst the kids in their school, and all of those winners then are put into a, a judging of all the kids within our district. I believe we're in District F of the, I, of the IESA. Uh, each district then gets one winner uh, that gets honored. They would have been honored at a, at a luncheon in Bloomington this year. Uh, that didn't happen, but I, I'm fairly confident that IESA took care of all the winners uh, with with uh, certificates and awards um, and, and tried to make it as special as they could. We had two kids who tried to uh, um, entered for our school this year. Uh, we had Alex Ward and Bryn Boundy. And uh, not only am I proud to say both of them did a nice job, not only am I proud to say that Bryn Boundy was our school's winner, I'm also proud to say that Bryn Boundy became the only the third student from GCMS Middle School to actually uh, be chosen as a district winner. Uh, she joins Nathan Gerard and Emma Curtinbaugh um, as, as eighth grade winners. An excellent job. I'm really proud of both of them, especially proud of Bryn. That's a great honor to have. So congratulations to Bryn on being the uh, IESA Scholar Attitude Award winner for our district. Excellent job. Any other teachers have anything they want to add or throw in? I just want to say thank you to everybody. Thanks, parents, for joining us. Students, I appreciate you coming on here. We are going to miss you greatly. We are sad we don't get to do the in-person goodbye. Um, so please know that we are here if you need anything. Um, Mr. Biefeld, you're going to explain tomorrow what we need our award winners to do? Yep. Absolutely. Uh, so for tomorrow, if you are available, um, please, when you come to pick up your... Um, your materials that we cleared out of your lockers. Um, we'd love for all of you to, to, to drive in with your parents so we could see you again and, and at least wave goodbye. Uh, but for all the award winners, if you want an award tonight, please come to the school tomorrow. Um, we will still social distance, but we will take your picture. Um, so if you, if you want an award tonight, please, we, we implore you to come to the middle school tomorrow during pickup so we can snap a photo of you. So we can have that, uh, both for our, um, yearbook as well as um, just just for our own memories. And we look forward to hopefully seeing all of you tomorrow during pickup. Um, right now it's my it's my it's my privilege to to present the class of 2024, the eighth grade class of 2020. Um, and officially you guys are moving on to high school. So congratulations. We're very proud of you. Uh, we, we miss you guys. We wish you all the best. Um, and like, as, as Ms. Jamison said, we are, uh, we're done with you, but we're not done with you. We are definitely going to watch you guys as you progress the next four years. You guys have really grown uh, so much from uh, coming in as sixth graders and now leaving uh, in a very odd way. But we look forward to, to seeing um, your overall growth. And we can't, we can't wait to watch you guys in high school and all the cool things you're going to get to do there. So take care. Uh, hopefully we'll see all of you tomorrow. Um, and you don't, don't hesitate to reach out to any of us. We will, we will still be here. Um, I'm going to be here. So you guys have a wonderful evening and we'll see you all soon. Great job, everybody. Super proud of you. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.
see y'all later. Hey,